And keep God laws. Read, give me the book of Acts chapter, uh, no, Romans 13 and verse 11. Because our people, it's time, the Lord is sending his messages out here, man. It's a lot of threats going on, a lot of wars, rumors of wars, a lot of violence in the city, a lot of oppression, sickness is going through the roof, plagues going through the roof. And we got to stop living life over here like everything all good and dandy. Read what you got. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So the Lord says it's time for our people to wake up out of sleep. How are we asleep today? We don't know who we are as a people. We don't understand if I, if I ask the person, where do we derive from? What's our nationality? You have no idea. You tell me we African Americans. That's a deep sleep that these people have put on us, Reed. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And on whether y'all believe it or not, this is the time that the Lord said that he's ready to return. Look at this folly you see out here. You got sisters dressed all type of ways. You got Edomites looking like boxes. You know what I'm saying? And they don't realize that the destruction is coming to America. Get the book of Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 4. You know what I'm saying? Give me the book of 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. What's up, bro? How you got a minute for the word of the Lord, bro? What's your nationality, King? Read what you got, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 4. Verse 4. Come. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob. O house of Jacob. And all the families of the house of Israel. So the Lord is sending us out here to you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and people of native Indian descent. You are the ones that the Lord is telling you to come hear this word. Read. Verse 5. Thus said the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me? So you got to ask yourself, the Lord is asking, what iniquity or what wrong have you done to our ancestors for us not to love and respect God how we should? We're not respecting his Sabbath day. We're not respecting ourselves as the children of God. We're not respecting his commandments that he gave us. We're doing what we want to do. We eat the way we want to eat. We're dressing the way we want to dress. And we wonder why crime, diseases, and plagues come to hinder our community. And we at the bottom of society. Just because we out here embracing it. When God says not supposed to be so, read. And have walked after vanity and are, and are become vain. And we were walking after vanity. The Lord said we walking after foolishness. How y'all doing, family? Y'all got a couple minutes to learn about the history real quick? Just two minutes. All right, bro. So that's the thing. And, you know, we got to start taking time to learn about God. We got to learn our nationality. Read. Verse 6. Neither, they, neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? And a lot of our brothers and sisters are not even looking for the Lord. We're not looking for the true Messiah. We're sticking to this seizure Bozea image that the white race gave us, and we're looking at this man as God. Everything that he stands for, we could with it. God's laws are done away with. God loves everybody. We should forgive and move on. Slavery, all this and all that. And the Lord not dealing with that, read. That led us through the wilderness, through a land. Jump to verse 11. Verse 11. Have a nation changed their God? Hey, young sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all got two minutes to hear some history. Y'all, you can come at least just two minutes. Just two minutes. Now you stay right here and hear me, though. Read. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no god? So the Lord is asking you blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, have the other nations changed their god? Did the Chinese people start worshiping Buddha? Have the East Indian people start worshiping Krishna? You know what I'm saying? Have all these other people that got these fake gods and fake identities, have they stopped doing what they was doing? Read. But my people, uh -huh. but my people have changed their glory for that which doeth not profit. And our sisters went from being princess to now changing their stats to what? They want to be bad bitches. They want to be popping. They want to go get butt jobs. They want to be the thickest thing on the market. They don't want them a broke boy. Everybody just about to turn up in the good life. Everybody wants to come party. Everybody want to put clothes on that mean no profit and expose yourself. Nobody wants to come back to this Bible, read. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Why? Because the Lord is going to destroy the play. Hey, big fan, you got a minute for the word. I know, I already know, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to take heed to read what you got, bro. Huh. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9, from the top. He answered me. Then it said, Measure. Verse 2. Verse 2. Then shalt thou understand. 
God. This is the book of 2nd Edgeris, chapter 9 from the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou time diligently in thyself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Verse 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the, the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So you got to understand the signs that you're seeing. Shalom, shalom. The signs that you're seeing in the world today, all these plagues, all these prophecies, the Lord is showing you that this is the time that he's about to begin and bring judgment on this place, right? Shalom, Y'all about to see how shall I rock it I read what you got. Keep going. Shalom. Verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen, Salakia, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes. What? Earthquake. When you're seeing earthquakes hit the world today, and throughout the world you are seeing major earthquakes hit the earth, and thousands and thousands and thousands of people are dying. Thousands of people are losing their houses, losing their homes. We're not considering why this is going on. We're looking at it like life happens, right, Reed? In uproar. And what? In uproar. What you're starting to see throughout the world is uproars of the people. You know what I'm saying? You got the the, uh, the Arab people, Ishmael and them, marching in throughout different places of America, protesting why? But the destruction that's going on in their homeland, right? You got uproars going on amongst us. You got civil war. You got tech. You got different states rebucking up against America, saying they're going to be their own government, bucking up against the military, and civil war is coming to America. But we won't know that because our people are set strong on turning up. Everybody want to go with what's popping. When the Lord is sending us out here to tell y'all to repent and keep the commandments, give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 12. And one of y'all give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 1. You know what I'm saying? Get that Jeremiah 44 first. Yep. This is Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 12. Start at verse 10. Come on. This is Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 10. They are not humble. Even unto this day. Start at verse 7. So like, come on. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 7. Therefore, now thus said the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel. Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls. You doing what? Commit this great evil against your soul. So when our people out here breaking God's Sabbath day, y'all eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. Y'all are not. Y'all whoring y'all sisters out. You whoring yourself out. No, Jeremiah 5 and 1. Y'all whoring y'all self out. Y'all gang banging, doing all manner of drugs, getting drunk all through the night. Y'all not considering that you bringing shame to yourself. And when you see your brothers out here teaching y'all the word, everybody busy. Hey, can you got two minutes to hear about some history, King? You know what I'm saying? And then everybody shape and walk by all fast, but we was out here handing out dope and pills. Niggas be lining up, though. Start at verse 4. Come on, verse 4. How be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. And the Lord is sending the servants out here. He sent the prophets out. You got the saints out here. You got the servants out here. Hey, brothers, y'all got a minute for the some history. Bro, let me ask you one question, bro. What, what, what does Jesus look like? Y'all don't know. Have you ain't never thought to consider it? Y'all got a couple minutes. This ain't going to take long at all, bro. I'm going to let y'all go by y'all way. Wait, wait, and so you don't know, right? So that's one thing we can deal with that too. But now another thing I'm going to ask y'all, what's y'all nationality or what race of people do y'all descend from? Africans? So, all right, cool. What, what tribe of Africans you descend from? What, what part in Africa can you say your ancestors lived at? You couldn't tell me because why? You want to know why? Because it's not true. We're not from Africa. Give me Galatians uh, 4 and 26. And I'm going to show y'all some of y'all just stick with me real quick. We not Africans. If you look on this sign right here, we are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Read. Galatians 4.26 and give me Isaiah 1 and 3. So I'm going to show you something real quick. This is the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Come. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the what? Which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is our homeland. The land of Israel is our homeland. 
We are not African. We don't come from Africa. If you really look at the land mass, that land, Africa wasn't even called Africa back then. It was given, given going by another night. Did you know that? Oh, I thought you were shaking your head a little bit. So what you got to understand is the land mass Africa comes from a Roman general named Leo Scipio Africanus, right? You know what I'm saying? And why did they name that land that? Because they conquered that land. They destroyed that land. Like, what? Yeah, do y'all consider yourself African Americans? Right, but think about that. You got to ask yourself, why out of everybody in the world, you don't see people, you don't see Chinese people saying, I'm a Chinese American. I'm an Arab American. We the only ones that got to go by two different land masses. And you got to understand the reason why we go by that is because why? These people who conquered us named us after that. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. I'm going to show y'all some real quick stuff, real quick. Just give me five minutes, so watch this. So if you look at it, y'all would be from the tribe of Judah. The American blacks, we y'all would be the real Jews according to the Bible. That's why if you notice, if you look out there where the land of Israel is, where the so-called Jewish people at, you notice they're the only white ones out there with lack of melanin. If you look in the Middle East, the Arabians kind of a dark brown color. Then right across the hall, you got Africans. So where y'all fit in it? You know what I'm saying? But then throughout all the other parts of the world, like Europe, you see Caucasian people all throughout there because you will find out they put themselves there. Watch this, read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever. In their dwelling places, to all generations, they call their lands after their own name. In the lands that they conquered, they call them after their own name. So America was named after an English settler by the name of Americo Vespucci. When he came over here with Christopher Columbus, they discovered the lands and they named that land after him. That's why you got America as Americo Vespucci. You know, Rome was named after a man named Romelis. All these countries, yeah, because, you know, they don't teach us these things, right? You know what I'm saying? So this is why we have to understand this. And even just like with your history, right? This is where your nationality changed it right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, take a picture of all of it. Watch this. Read what you got. Give me the book Isaiah 1 verse 3. And then give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Kind of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. Watch this. Also, listen. Watch out. What's your name? Tony. Vaughn. Joe. Tony Vaughn. Joe. Eli, uh, you, I'm Eli too, that's twin right there. So watch this, so all right, bro. He said, uh, it's another Eli, we, it's, we, we triplets out here. So you gotta understand something, God said an ox knoweth his owner. You know, you know do y'all know if an ox is a stupid animal or not, or a smart animal? But I tell you, for the sake of time, an ox is a very dumb animal, but it does what? The ox knoweth his owner. It knows who his owner is. If you take an ox and drop it off somewhere down in Atlanta, and it just get to wonder, and it see his owner across the street, it's going to run to his owner. Watch this. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass is a donkey. It's a dumb animal. If you drop it off in a peace tree, and it's, the owner lives in Lawrenceville, it's going to make its way back to where his owner came from. But watch this. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. God said, our people don't know. That's why I asked y'all where y'all come from. What's your next like? You like, I mean, shit, Africa? You know, some part of Africa, I don't know where, but we from there because we never went there. God said we don't know who we are because why? We didn't keep his commandments. So this is what he did. Give me the book of Jeremiah 17, 4, and read what you got in Deuteronomy 28. And so, 20, uh, 28, yeah. So I'm going to show you something. We was the Israelites. Do y'all know about the story of Moses? And see, this the thing. You know what I'm saying? We want to talk to it. Yeah, and that's why, he, that's why he brought you here today so you can learn this. So watch this. What I'm going to put y'all on game was the first slavery that our people ever endured and went through was in the land of Egypt. We were slaves to Egypt. Yeah. We were slaves in the land of Egypt, right? And while we were slaves in the land of Egypt, they afflicted us. Started Exodus 113. I'm going to show you what we was doing in Egypt. We the same people. Watch this. Exodus chapter 1 verse 3. Okay. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 13. Let's start at verse, uh, let's start at verse 9. I'm going to show y'all something. And this is the same thing that the so-called white people did to us. You got to understand something. Have y'all ever noticed when this is a flock of us, say of all us right now, start walking, uh, walking down the street. You don't think, and we walking the past about three white people. They're going to be looking at us scared. And you know what they're going to do? The white man going to grab his wife. On closer, she gonna squeeze her purse tighter because why? When they see us in numbers, they fear us. 
So you got to understand some of the best way to keep us divided is to separate us because if all us truly came together, bro, we can overthrow this country. You can't do nothing with it. Right. Hey, look, I'm not paying rent no more. I'm not paying my car no, no more. And ain't nobody coming to get it. I guarantee you we can shut this country down if we thought like that. But watch this. This is what the oppressors and the other people know. Read, watch this. This is the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 9. And he said unto the people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more mightier than we. They what? Are more mightier than we. And the countries always knew that we always been more mightier than any other people on the face of the earth. Who run the boxing world? Niggas and Mexicans. Football too. Soccer. UFC. You know what I'm saying? Even golf. Think about it. You got Tiger Woods. You know what I'm saying? Cold as he may be, a nigga still ruling over there. You got golf, tennis. It ain't nothing we can't do that these people, Serena, we are signing these people and everything, right? So, Simone Biles, right? So you got to think about that track. So you got to, it ain't nothing that we can't do better than them, right? Watch this. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they were falling, Salakia, that when they fall of out, any war they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land verse 11 therefore they did set over them taskmasters you know what a taskmaster is a taskmaster just like a supervisor a manager they set taskmasters slave masters over us Reed. right to afflict them with with their burdens in verse jump to verse 13 watch this y'all verse 13 and the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. So they made us serve slavery with rigor, just like we did in America. They had kids picking cotton, 80-year-old women, 80-year-old men picking cotton. The same thing that happened to us back then, it happened to us today. But watch this, read. Verse 14. And when they made their lives bitter. Read it right. So like it. And when, and they, so like it. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. Do you feel like growing up, we had a hard life? Y'all come from the projects a little bit. So think about the struggle. Y'all from North Carolina, so, so y'all know it's real racism down there as well. So think about it, bro. Think about how a lot of us grew up in Section 8. We growing up in single parent household. We can't afford too much food. We can't afford too much clothes. You make life hard. So food, so growing up, what you more likely to do? Go get it, right? By any means necessary. And can you go to the white neighborhood and go get it? Cause they far away, so who you gonna go get it from? Whoever getting it around the neighborhood, we finna come get there, right? So this is the same thing that they did to us back then. So catching the story up, God had Moses deliver us from the Egyptians, right? He told us, give me Exodus 3 and 10. I'm gonna show you this. Watch this, I'm gonna put you on game, watch this. This is the book of Exodus chapter three, verse 10. It reads, come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. He said he was going to bring Moses to bring us out of the land of Egypt. So fast forward that. God delivered us out of the land of Egypt from that slavery, right? He brought us into the wilderness, and in the wilderness he gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to abide by. He said if we keep these commandments, we were going to be blessed, we were going to live, we was going to rule over by everybody. But if we didn't keep these commandments, we was going to go into slavery again. So watch this. Now, that's what we're about to go into. Now, go to that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. I'm going to show you all a couple of these curses. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. So like, Yeah, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said that we didn't listen to him and keep his commandments right. Curses will come on our whole race and overtake us. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? Watch this. Give Baruch 4 and 32 real quick. Hurry up. Well, watch this. So these are the things that happen to us. Watch this. Verse 16. Curse shall I be in the city. So remember what y'all just said. Y'all from North Carolina, right? And think about how the environment is. Is Chinese, is Chinese people in North Carolina killing each other every day doing drive-bys? The Chinese people fill up the Section 8 in that city. You know what I'm saying? It's the Arab man throwing up blood and crip and, you know what I'm saying, going to Cali with them bowls and all that. What they doing? They living life and what we doing? We struggling and we surviving, so we cursed in the city, right? You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Read what you got. 
This is Baruch chapter 4 and verse 32. Miserable are the city. What? Miserable are the cities which thy children served. And he, God said, miserable are the cities where our people were slaves there because why? They destroyed our mind. They took the hope from us. Think about it. They butt broke a lot of men in front of the women, so they took the courage. Why do you think you got a lot of mama's boys today? Not saying y'all mama's boy, but think about it. Why do you think a mama love her child the way she do? When a woman have a male child, she keep him under her nurturing wings. She love him. She spoil him. She give him whatever he want because that was something that passed down from slavery. When we was in slavery, the slave master used to teach the woman not to have your son be dominant. Because if he become dominant, huh? Yeah, so you understand that, right? But think about how much your mama love and care for you, right? They favor their sons, right? So you got to understand that. That comes from slavery of fear of losing your son. So you know what your mama do? She'll have you more loving, more softer, more quieter. Because why? If you show masculinity and buck up, they feel like you will revolt. And if you will revolt, you will breed. You will breed more tough, tough Negroes. And what will end up happening? The next thing you know, you got an army. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they keep us down and they dumb us down. You know what I'm saying? So watch this. Keep reading what you got. That's you. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy son. He said miserable is the city that received thy son. So North Carolina, Memphis, Atlanta, all these places where we dwell in the ghetto, the Lord says miserable because why? He left there for us for a curse. Read what you got. Verse two. Keep going. Verse 3. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. It says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. I'm going to ask you another question. Think about this. If y'all was married, right? Or let's say you got a girlfriend, and y'all at the house, right? you got an apartment, y'all chilling in the crib. What would you do if I walk in your house, grab your girl, throw her on the couch, and you know, go into her and start handling my bed? Are you going to sit there and just chill? Let's be real. What you going to do? You probably going to kill me, right? But listen to this curse again, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. It say, Thou shalt betroth a wife. You will get a wife, watch this. And another man shall lie with you. And another man will come lie with your wife and rape your wife. And he don't care if you're sitting right there on the couch. He going to rape your wife in front of you when did that happen? Y'all ain't seen slavery movies? You remember that? Yeah, did you see that movie with David Banner? When David Banner was a slave... I don't remember. I don't remember the name right now. It's not a, hey, Yako, what's that movie? What's that slave movie David Banner was in when the Edomite raped his wife and then came out there and killed him in front of his son? Uh, uh, 12, years of slave. 12 years of slave. Yeah, 12 years of slave. So, yeah, with 12 years of slave, right? When David Banner's wife got snatched off the field in front of him, ran in there and she raped him, right? And what did the son say? Daddy, he ain't going to do nothing. And what the dude do? He came out there and looked at him and killed him, right? So the Lord put that on us as a curse. Our women was getting raped and stripped right naked right in front of us in slavery, right? Watch this other part, though. Thou shalt build a house. Who built the White House? Do y'all know that history? Your ancestors built the White House. Watch this. And thou shalt not dwell therein. Watch this, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This is where the slavery happened. God prophesied to us that our sons and our daughters, which is us, will be given into another people. Meaning who? You think that was like a gift where he say, oh, I'm going to, what the, what they call it? I'm going to give you up for adoption. So you're going to go stay with Johnny and them now because you're not behaving. No, he gave us up as slaves. Jump down to verse 41. Watch this. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. So during slavery, our ancestors was birthing us, giving birth to our mothers, our fathers, right? And he said, we want to enjoy them kids because why, Reed? For they shall go into captivity. For they shall what? Go into captivity. And the Lord said our ancestors were going to go into captivity. So when we was having birth back then, they had us breed children to do what? Make them slaves. This is why America is so great now. This is why we so destroyed. Because they put us in slavery, right? Watch this. Keep reading on Give me verse... No, nah, verse 37. I'm going to show you a point. Now, this point that I'm going to finna bring you back to the question I first asked you. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. It say, And thou shalt be, become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. He said a proverb and a byword. So they were going to put bywords on us. We were going to become a proverb. They were going to name us another name. So this is the curse that God said was going to happen to us. You was going to go from being Judah to an American black 
from Benjamin to a West Indian black, from a Haitian, I mean, from a Levite, a Levitical priest to a Haitian. And if you go on down that line, they put proverbs and bywords on our people. And that's why today you don't know who you are and you call yourself by another name. You know what I'm saying? And this is another, this is another part of that prophecy. Read what you got. This is Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. And the Lord also told us we was going to discontinue from our heritage. So our heritage that we once had, we was going to lose it. We weren't going to have it no more. That's why today everybody got culture. The white people got our own culture that they believe in. The East Indian people got culture. The Chinese people got a culture. Where your culture at? Think about it. The holidays y'all celebrate, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year, keep it 100. Think about it. Where that country come from? The white man, right? Even, bro, I'm not even putting you on the spot. The earrings you got on your ear right now, where you think that religion come from? The white folk, right? But think of, check this out. It doesn't even come from the white folk. They stole it from somebody else. That's right. Don't you know their T really stand for top moves? Right. Yeah, cause we don't think that. You know what I'm saying? Guess who taught you? Our oppressor. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I do? I wouldn't even want to wear that because you know what that, you know who made that? These are the people right here, the founding fathers. These are the ones who put ticket, the Romans, the Romans took it from Tammuz. They incorporated it. And these people did it. And where the Catholic Church is? Is the Catholic Church on there? But no, the Catholic Church not on there. But the Catholics, the one came with this. So you got to understand all these religions we celebrate today. The Baptist Church, the Pentecostal Church, the Mormons, the Jehovah Witnesses, the Seven Day of Venices. These are all the creators of it. You know what I'm saying? God don't have no idea with that. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think that they incorporated Easter Sunday, Christmas service, the New Year's Eve service at the church? Because why? It's their traditions. It's their holiday. It has nothing to do with your heritage. So I want to show y'all real quick what your heritage is. Huh? Yeah, you can look at it, bro. Take pictures with it. Watch this. So keep reading that real quick. You will start with that. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And the Lord said, because we didn't keep the commandments, this is why we serve our enemies. This is why we serve their religion. We serve their holiday, because why? We didn't keep the commandments of the Lord. Bro, you got minute for the word of the Lord. And see, you see how he fanned us out? Because our people don't love each other over here, man. We don't give a damn what we talking about. But I guarantee you, we were some women over time. We having a twerk contest later on tonight. Damn right, baby girl, give me a fly. I'm going to support black business because that's how our people live. But this is our true heritage, according to the Bible. Give me the book of El Exodus, chapter 6, verse 8. And then after that, after you read that verse, give me the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Now, now we're going to go back over here. I'm going to show you another print. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 15. Come on. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my children. So y'all remember earlier when we started talking about the origins of America and Africa, right? Who was America named after? America Vespucci, right? And then Africa was named after Leo Scipio Africanus, right? So them same people that conquered them lands and named them after themselves, like Rome was named after Romelis, right? Watch this. Read that part again. Verse 15. Come on. And, and ye shall leave your name So them names, Africanus America Vespucci what? Ye shall leave your name for a curse Unto my chosen Unto my chosen, so the chosen people of God Wasn't going to be called the Jews no more We was going to be called these names That they gave us, right? Watch this read Come. For the Lord For the Lord God shall slay thee So them same people right there you even see walking by Looking, them the ones that gave you that name but guess what? You think they care about it. They love it. They love the fact that you don't call yourself a Jew. Think about Kyrie Irving. Y'all be watching basketball, right? Y'all don't notice how this man got blackballed last year because he, he just shared a post about us being the Jews, right? Why do you think that's so? Because when you got a popular face, you a known public figure, you a role model. If he comes out and say, oh, we the Jews, bro, you know how many black people going to consider that all because they look up to that man? So what they got to do? We finna blackball him. We finna punish him because why? He got to keep sticking to the name that we gave him. You know what I'm saying? Think about your Kanye, Nick Cannon, all these different people, bro. You got to think about it. Why are these black people getting blackballed and destroyed when they come out and say we the Jews? Because we really are the Jews. You got to understand that. So why y'all the Jew, when you walk off, 
You got to go look that up. You will find out y'all are the Jews. Real talk. Watch this. Get Read what you got. Exodus 6 and 8. Come on, this is Exodus chapter 6 and verse 8. And I will bring you in unto the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And I will give it to you for inheritance. So the land of Israel that them people over there dwelling in today, and a lot of, another a major part of those land mass where them people occupying today, that's really our homeland. That was a heritage given to us by God. But the reason why he stripped it from us is because we weren't doing right over there. Think about what niggas doing today. I ain't trying to call our people niggas, you know, because I know what I'm teaching. It's a proverb, but think about what niggas doing today. Think about what we're doing in the community. We always talking about, you know how you say you're from North Carolina. I'm going to say I'm from Memphis. That's where I'm from. You think, I, I say I love Memphis. Do you think back then I was taking care of Memphis, keeping Memphis safe, putting black businesses in Memphis, you know the black business we bring it to the hood? Dope, pounds, pills, guns. That's the business right there. I can make you an entrepreneur overnight with this front. That's the, that's the business we on, right? So that's the heritage that the Lord gave us. Now, Sirach 17, 11. I'm going to show you another part of your heritage. And the Lord wants y'all to return to your heritage. So don't just learn this today. Research it. And then, you know what I'm saying? You right back on what you was on. No, you got to consider something here, Reed. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them what? Gave them knowledge. And the law of life. And what? And the law of life. For inheritance. So God also gave us his laws, statutes, and commandments as inheritance. That why? If we live by them, bro, we're going to be a different people. You know what I'm saying? Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 6. Bro, you got to understand something, bro. All of us came from different walks of life, right? When we learned this truth, we was excited just like y'all was. I had, bro, I, I had to, bro, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I used to be a little trouble boy, right? Bro, I went and spent good money on me a little cross. Then I had another little side pin with the white boy on it. Don't you know when I found the truth out, I ain't give a damn how much my earrings cost, my necklace cost, none of it. I snatched it off, threw it in the ground. I don't want it no more, man. You know, I'm a Jew. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get me an Indian pendant. I'm going to go get me some initials. I'm not rocking with that no more because when you find out that you sitting here repping and living your life for something that's trying to kill and destroy you, bro, it'll make you look at life different. Watch this. Who got what I want? All right, Rick. Come on, this is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do. You heard what he said? He said he even threw the ball away. Now look. He like, ah, oh, see. Yeah. I like, yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? This is your wisdom. This is what makes us wise on the earth. Bro, don't you know how many people, when they see us on a day-to-day -day basis, when they just see us at work, on our jobs, or driving in traffic, look at that dumb nigga right there. But then you can get scholars, people highly intelligent. They can come stand right here in front of us, and they'll get confounded. They don't know the real history. They don't even know their history. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. It'll make a person feel some type of way when, you know what I'm saying, you got a dude from the project <laughs> teaching, out teaching a scholar. So this is our wisdom when we keep God's commandments, right? In the sight of the nations. What? In the sight of the nations. So well, this is our heritage in the sight of the nations. So now I want to show y'all some more curses real quick to prove to y'all without a shadow of a doubt we the Israelites. Give me the book of uh, verse 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28, 46. And they, they shall be upon thee for a sign. For what? For a sign. Hey, so think about this too. These things that he put up on us, bro, it's still significant in the communities today. Do y'all still see cotton fields in the world? If you go down a certain highway, you see cotton on the ground, right? Who you think will picking that cotton? You know what I'm saying? Right. When you look at the projects in the ghettos, right, bro, they put us there. You, don't you know where we, where we live at and we call projects? That was the original area where they was housing us and enslaving us, and they lived there. And once they ended slavery, they left us there. And they start building better parts in the world that they can live by. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that and know that. But also, he leaves signs by this. How many How many black dudes, I mean, how many white officers that got convicted for killing niggas by police? Right. Not a lot, right? Think about how many young black children come up missing every year. Think about it. It's probably somebody y'all know grew up missing, coming up dead. The signs are still there today because why? 
The Lord wanted y'all to hear these signs and bethink yourself. Give me the book of Baruch chapter 2 in verse 32, I think. These curses were meant for y'all to bethink yourself. And I ain't finna keep y'all here too. I'm gonna show y'all a couple more. And then, you know, if y'all got questions, y'all got questions. I, wanna, I don't want to just drill y'all. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Do I think the majority of the white folks racist? I'll show it to you. Give me the book. Give me that. I, Perpetual hatred. Yeah, give me the uh, Psalm 664. Who? No, 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 not that yet. Read what you got. Give me that uh, song, how they uh, think about hatred. Read. Okay, come. This is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. No, 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 verse 30, Salah. Come, this is Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. And this is why these curses and these plagues that the Lord put on us is still prevalent today for a sign. Watch this. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff-necked people. Right. But in the land of their captivity. In the what? In the land of their captivity. This is why we're still in America. This is why everywhere we were scattered at, as slaves, this is why we're still here. Because the Lord said, in the land where we were slaves at, read. They shall remember themselves. They shall what? They shall remember themselves. In the land of this captivity, you're going to remember yourself because you're going to be wondering like, damn, why this keep happening? Damn, why is this happening? Damn, why are my people in the ghettos? If you think about gangs and cliques. Blacks, niggas, and the Mexicans, we the ones that run the gang street. We the ones that got all the dope, all the guns get rounded up. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because we are cursed people. We destroyed. Through our poverty and affliction, we was chosen. We had to do that, right? Give me Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 16. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 16. Watch this. All right, now give me the book of Deuteronomy. Keep going where you at. All right, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to answer your question, bro. Give me, go back to what you had. Yeah. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Ezekiel 35 and 5. So you ask, do all white people hate, right? Watch this. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou hast. Start in verse 2. Verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Against who? Against Mount Seir. Against who? Against okay. Mount Seir. Watch this. And prophesy. So like it. And, and prophesy against it. Right. Verse 3. And say unto it. Thus, thus saith the Lord God, behold, O Mount Seir. So Mount Seir, if you look that up, that's the plan, that's, the, that's, that's Mount Petra. That's where the so-called white people deprived they came from. They took that land and they dwelt there and they made that their first habitation, right? Watch this. Jump, you, can, you can jump down to what you were saying. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and thou hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. Because you had a what? Has, has had a perpetual hatred. The Lord said they had a perpetual hatred against us. So, bro, I don't think it ain't no, I don't care how fine Becky might look. Becky might love the nigga. Oh, oh, bro, you so crazy. They might be easy to have sex with, but the Lord said they have a perpetual hatred against you. Yeah, and they say, you know, so think about it, bro. Think about what's that dude that was in that uh, boxing movie with, uh, with Michael B. Jordan. The dude, you seen the new Michael B. Joy movie when he fought against the other black dude, his homeboy, right? Well, look what happened to that. The new Big Nose. You know what I'm saying? Ugly dude. We know who he is, bro. Come on. Think about what happened to him. He had him with Becky. He just made all these millions, had all these other movies lined up that he was finna do. What happened? Soon he pissed Becky off. What Becky do? They put a charge on her. She probably called him all type of niggas, boys, bitches. And what happened? He probably ended up putting his hands on her. They got a little footage. Now that man's career gone. He ready to kill himself. Think about Benzino. Benzino said that Eminem should not be accepted in the rap culture because this is something for black people. And for 20 plus years, they've been on Benzino neck for that same thing. He crying in the interview, bro. Why? Because you can't say these things against these people. If any consequence with these people, they hate you. Yeah. Come on, man. Read what you got, huh? <laughs> Verse 5. Because thou, thou hast had a perpetual hatred against them and shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So he, they, they, they never stop shedding blood, even when we get afflicted today. Bro, we can be over here having gang violence against one another. One of them still going to find a reason to come kill you. They can't wait to pull you over and arrest you. Man, y'all don't think the government, y'all, bro, you really, I'm going to ask y'all a question. 
You don't think the feds, if you sell dope or you trap, you don't think the feds know that? Come on, bro. They sit back, and this how much they hate you, bro. This how much they hate you. Bro, they sit back and watch you when you started with the half ounce, the ounce, the two juices, the three juices, the QP, the half a pound. Now he got a whole pound. Now he bringing 20 pounds in the hood. You feed the community, and guess what happened? They hit you like they hit Rollo. Rollo, think about it. You don't think they knew Rollo was doing that. But they sit back and let you get so far so they can enjoy the fact of taking it all from you at the end, bro. And it hurts more people when they let you get your high. Yeah, because why? You start taking care of people. You got to understand that, bro. Watch this. Give me that. Read that. Ezekiel 22 and verse 16. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 83. Watch this. This is Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 16. Verse 15. And I will scatter thee among the heathen. I will scatter thee among the heathen. So our people today, we scattered amongst the heathen. The Lord looks at these other nations as heathens. So we are not the same for them people. They're the heathen, right? And not only did he scatter us amongst them, why you think he scattered us around certain? Because he knew they hate us so much that the whole time we around them, they're going to be afflicting us. They're going to be changing us. They're going to be butt breaking us. And even today, I'm going to show y'all something that still affects us today. Why do you think so many men who got kids pay child support? Do you know what child support, government assistance, Section 8 was in, originally intended for? Huh? It was originally intended to take the black man out the house, bro. You got to understand this. So when you grew up in Section 8, think about it. If y'all ever end up, because I don't know who y'all have talked to, if y'all end up meeting a female, right, and she stay in Section 8, you know what she probably will tell you? Uh, you can come here and you spend the night. We can get it in, but you can't leave nothing here. Because if they come do their inspection and see that it's a man's belongings in here, I'm going to lose my grant and I'm going to get put out. What you think that's doing? Then guess what end up happening? She getting welfare for your kid too, right? So now not only can you not be in the house, but she's getting government assistance financially. So you know what the government going to say? Where's the father? The father should be the one doing this. But the father now got to come up with extra money to pay for himself to have a crib and stay somewhere. And you know what they do next? They put you on child support. Think about it. They can't put you on child support if you in the house with the child. It's only when you get away from it. Bro, that's a different level of hatred because why? Without physically breaking up the family, we can break up the family. Right. Right. And think about it. And now that you said that about the prison program, this is another thing. Think about it. Who own what jobs do we own here? Right. Watch the give me verse uh right. Go to go to, go back to Deuteronomy 28 and give me verse 47. Watch this. I'm finna make I'm finna show you a point. We're gonna speak about the prison thing. Watch this. I'm gonna show you something. Keep reading it. Come on, Ezekiel 22, verse 15. And I will scatter thee among the heathen. Yeah, you can smoke it, but we're gonna touch it. I know you trying. I'm gonna tell you about that later. Do your thing. They try not to blow it in our face or nothing, bro. Watch this. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thine inheritance in my in thyself in the sight of uh, start that part and I will disperse thee. Come on. And disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness. He will do what? Consume thy filthiness. So the Lord is bringing us over here to do what? Consume the filthiness out of us. This is why he got us dwelling amongst them. They, he wants you to see these people living their best life. You know what I'm saying? Doing what they want to do. Getting drunk, rich. They got all the nice fancy cars. They own all the businesses. Because why? Eventually it's going to make you bethink yourself. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm finna touch it now with the black thing, right? I'm going to show you something. The reason why I said go do your thing because one, I can't shop you. But I want to show you why you shouldn't do it, right? Watch this. Now drop that. Give me the book of, uh, you get 1 Corinthians uh, 3. You know what I want. The Temple of God 16. And I want you to get, uh, wisdom, I mean, Sirach chapter 1. Sirach 1 and uh, 12. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Yeah, Sirach chapter 1 verse 12. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. So smoking, right? I used to smoke weed. I used to smoke blacks. And sometimes in the hood, I used to smoke cigarettes, right? Because why? We don't know who we are. But if you look on that packet, bro, what did it say on there? What 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 happened? What's the benefit of smoking that? Seek not death in the area. Look it up. Seeking on your phone. I think it's wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. 
Hold on, watch this. Okay, come. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter three, verse sixteen. Know ye, know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So watch this. And what I'm showing y'all is y'all the Israelites. We are the Israelites. We God, our bodies is the temple of God. We supposed to take care of this temple because the, the previous temple, the physical temple that we had, it got destroyed. So now in these last days, we are the temple of God because God's spirit dwelling in us. Watch this. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Come on, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God himself, so like you, him shall God destroy. God said if you defile in your temple, you know how you defile something? Think about it. Would you go and say if you you a church goer, right? And you believe in God, you go to church, you do this and that. Are you finna go in church and light a cigarette up? Think about it. Are you gonna go set a truck on fire? Why? It ain't right, right? So think about it. Your body is the temple that the Lord really cares about. Lord, the Lord said his spirit don't dwell in the temple made by hands. You know what I'm saying? So you are that temple. And God said if you defile that temple, and you can defile that temple by smoking, going out here, whoring yourself out with different other women. You know what I'm saying? You doing violent things, cutting yourself. So you go. The God said if you do that, he going to destroy you. Give me Tattoos bad too. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we all did these things because guess what? The, the, the nations taught us that. I'll show you that too. Give me Leviticus 19. And watch this. Read what you got. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 13. Verse 12. Seek not death in the era of your life. So the Bible says seek not death in the era of your life. Meaning what? If you smoking a black, you looking for death. Just like if you, oh, bro, if you go, bro, snout. Five lines of powder you never did it before in your life, or you go pop three. If you go pop ten thirties, thirty Percocets back to back, you know what you're gonna do. You gonna overdose. You gonna kill yourself, right? It's the same thing smoking on blacks, bro. Because don't you cough sometimes? You cough up mucus. Think about it. Your chest might hurt sometimes. Even them vapes. You think them vapes good for y'all, bro? Think about some. Why do we do it though? Because we destroy, bro. They play crafty council with us. They, they y'all need it, bro. That's what we, we all feel like we need it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't need it. You want to know why? Hell, I mean, nah, bro. Yeah. You feel me? I'm, nah, bro, we supposed to drink. You feel me? Watch this. Hold on. Nah, it's a real, it's a serious tip. Watch this. Give me the book of Proverbs 31. I'm finna show you something. What, this is a strong drink, wine, alcohol. It was made for us, bro, because why? We go through so much. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 31. And verse uh, 6. Watch this. Come on, this is Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. And when it, Technically, it's saying when a person ready to die, give him strong drink. But also to a person, when you feeling like, bro, I'm in my wit's end. You know what I'm saying? Give that man strong drink, bro, when you're going through a lot. Say it, bro. You, you just had a, your, your, your mama just died. Your daddy died. Your uncle died. Your homeboy from the hood died. Bro, I'm not finna, when your daddy die coming up with some water, man, just drink this and calm down, bro. You feel me? Nah, bro, get you a strong drink, Reed. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy heart. And you got a heavy heart, you sad about some, you know what I'm saying, get you some wine. Oh, I'm like, I'm like what the hell going on? <laughs> Nah, you good, so bro. Yeah, bro, you can drink wine, but you got to drink it moderately. Give me Isaiah 5 and verse 11. Nah, this is it. Give me Isaiah 5, verse 11. Watch this. Shalom, my. That brother sharp over there. Watch this. Read what you got. Come on, this is Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. So the Lord said, destruction to a man that wake up in the morning. So just because we can drink, that don't mean we should just be sitting here getting stupid drunk. You wake up in the morning with God said we can't smoke loud. We can't pop yurts. We can't drink lean. But he said we can drink that jack though. Hey, bro, you trying to match a shot in the morning. You know Not what I'm saying? Morning, no. We can't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Read. That continue until night. You wake up in the morning. You can't take a shot in the morning. And just be taking shots all into the night. Watch this, Reed. Till wine and flame. Till wine and flame. You mean it what, bro? You get drunk out your mind. 
your, your stomach started hurting, you're throwing up all over the place. You just slapped your baby mama in front of your grandmama not knowing it. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. So you, when you drink, you just got to drink moderately. You know what I'm saying? Read what you got. This, it's going into the tattoo now, read. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. It says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So somebody die, you're not supposed to be cutting in yourself for the dead, but watch this, read. Nor any marks on you. Nor any marks on you. Or, or you're not so not putting marks on you. So all these tattoos I got in a week, we're not supposed to be doing these things, right? God said we're not supposed to be doing these things, right? What's going on with all right, so yeah, so we're not supposed to be doing that, right? So these are this the reason why, bro. Give me the book of uh give me the book of Psalms chapter uh, No, nah, I'll drop it. I'm gonna stick to this point. I'm gonna show you something. Give me the Vilicus 12 and then give me Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Well, whichever one get it first, 10 to 12. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 10 verse 12. Read. 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 To be a chosen people unto himself. So certain things we're not supposed to do. It was Leviticus 20 and 26 too, my bad. So the Lord said we are chosen people to himself. Watch this. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you. So that's it on that. Now give me the book of Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. So I'm going to show you something. This is why you shouldn't smoke. This is why you shouldn't overdo certain things. Watch this. God, this is the book of Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said... Ye are God. So God said you are gods on the earth, but you got to believe that thing. Why you think we walk around much boldness? You think you, bro, just take confidence right here to believe in something. We're not smoking. We're not whoring sisters out. We're not breaking the Sabbath. We're not out here defiling ourselves because why? We believe that we are gods because why? Give me the, after read this, I'm going to show you something. After this, give me the book of Psalms chapter 8 verse 5, read. Right? Uh, this is Psalms chapter 8, 2 verse 6. I said ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. We are children of the Most High God, but watch this. But ye shall die like men. Why you think we're going to die like men? For sins. Certain things like they put in front of you, because you got to understand, these nations hate you so much, but they know, they know you the Jews. They know we the Israelites, but you want to know why you don't know that? Because why would I tell you something that can affect my livelihood? You know what I'm saying? Think about if I've been spending your, your granddad the money, all these, your granddaddy got millions on millions. You think that money gone, but I know it's not because I've been dipping and dabbing with it, living my life. Why you think you think I'm gonna come tell you, hey bro, your granddad, your granddad Bobby Ray really had a million, bro. And I've been over here dipping and dabbing. Because why? What's gonna happen? When you find out you're gonna come do what? You're gonna come get that. Exactly. So if you find out to an Israelite, they don't like that because what's gonna happen? Some of us brothers gonna stand up and we're gonna come back and take our heritage. You gonna understand? So watch this. Read what you got. But you shall die like men. You will die like men. Give me the book of Psalms 5, 8 and 5. Yeah. You got a couple. Come on, bro. You got time, bro. You got the. You get what I'm talking about, man. Give the brother a hand, brother. Brother trying to hear it with us, man. You know. Watch this. Let them hear it on the phone, too. Watch this. All right. Two, three minutes. Watch this. So God said we are gods on the earth, right? Watch this. Psalm chapter 8, verse 4. Come on. Come on. This is Psalm chapter 8 and verse 4. What is man? What is who? What is man? What is who? What is man? He's talking about tall. He's not talking about every man on earth. Because God don't look at these other men as men. He look at tall as the real man on the earth. Read. That thou art mindful of him and the son of man. That thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels. So God said he made you a little lower than the angels, bro. We got God in us. We don't understand. That's why we powerful in anything we do. You can't put other nations in the slavery that we went through and they come out and make it. Think about even in prison. Why do you think a lot of dudes in the prison, most of our people run the prison and take over? You put us in a hard spot, we're going to come out blinging. I go, I go to jail with socks on, I come out with Balenciaga's on. You know what I'm saying? That's just the type of people we are, right, Reed? 
and has crowned him with glory and honor. He crowned us with glory and honor if we keep his commandments. So now read what you got. Come on, this is the book of Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6. It say, and ye shall be unto me, so like, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So God said we were going to be a nation of kingdom and pre kings and priests. You know, Yaakov, here, Bob, get this to Yaakov, bro. He said we should be a king, a nation of kings and priests, meaning what well, we're supposed to be rulers, but we also supposed to be priests. And you know what a priest supposed to do? Give me Malachi 2 and 7, and I'm finna wrap it up and bring it home for y'all. So the black man and the black woman in the community, we have orals and, and laws and the heritage that we're supposed to abide by. You know what I'm saying? It's a structure with God. And a lot of people look at God as this soft, emotional figure. But God is the ultimate killer on the earth. Don't nobody get whacked unless he get a say-so. Don't nobody move unless he say. You know how they say, don't nothing move but the money. Who you think give them folks the money? Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Yeah. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. I'm going to pass to another brother in a minute, too. This is the book of Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. It says, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So guess what? He said also as being a king and a priest, the Lord said a priest lips supposed to keep knowledge, right? And they shall seek the law at his mouth. You're supposed to seek the law. People are supposed to be coming to y'all, young brothers, seeking the law. You know what I'm saying? How old y'all is in average? 20. Y'all are 20. So guess what, bro? Y'all learning this at 20. Bro, I know how much uh, impact y'all can have on the world. If y'all go back and start doing certain things that we're not supposed to do and y'all keep the commandments of God, bro, the Lord said we're going to be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. Give me the book of uh, Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Now you go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 60. I'm going to show y'all these last things and I appreciate y'all for sticking around, bro. I'm going to bring it up though. I'm going to bring it up. Yep. Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. It's saying the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. So the Lord prophesied that he was going to bring us in slavery again by the way of cargo slave ships. And I want y'all to think about this. Hold this sign for me, bro. This is how your, your ancestors came into America. Butt to butt, head to butt. Like, look at how uncomfortable that is, bro. Like, think about if you laying beside a woman on her period, bro. They got you on a boat laying beside a woman with her period. She butt naked. Blood gushing out of her. Some women had their baby right there on the boat. You got a boo-boo. You got to pee. Man, you got to understand, guess what? The, bro, if you, if you ain't ate nothing or you ate the wrong thing before you got kidnapped and you got to you gotta take a dump, you, and you got to take a dump, right? You think you can hold your dump for two, three weeks? You finna have to let it out, right? And imagine if I probably let that out by your head. You just got to sit there, bro. It's a whole, a whole buckload of crap right here, dump right here. You know what I'm saying? You just sitting there, you can't move. You know what I'm saying? They they kind of wiping their butt with your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing, right? Watch this. Watch this. So watch this. Now read what you got. So now, hold on. Go back here. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What? With ships. We came over with ships, read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for by men. And bond women. We was brought over here as slaves and sold for bond men and bond women. Real quick, give me Joel chapter 3. Watch this. So this is why you see this right here. This was an ultimate plan to destroy you. This was a plan to destroy you and do what? Keep you away. You know what I'm saying? Give me that about Joel 3 and 6. They parted our land. Come on, read what you got. This is Hosea chapter 6 and verse 8. Gilead is a city of them. Hosea chapter 6 verse 1, King. Come on. Come on. Hosea chapter 6 and verse 1. Come, let us return unto the Lord. So now that y'all hearing this, this is the big message behind it. Read that again. Come, let us return unto the Lord. So now it's time for us to turn back to our creator, the man that formed us, the man who gave us life and his knowledge today because you don't know how long your days is. You know what I'm saying? Just give me Jeremiah 10 and uh, 23, King. Read. For he hath torn yeah, we got a social media page. It's a service. It's on, it's on the flyer. Where you type that name in the service on Instagram, on Facebook. We got YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We coming out with more videos, right? 
All right, this, this what's up, bro. Watch this. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. See it on there. So now, got me to Revelations 1. So now, the last thing I'm going to show y'all before I give it up, I want to attack this right here because the first question I asked y'all was, who is Jesus and what he look like? And y'all were like, I slick don't know. You can let that go. You can let that go. Yeah. This not Jesus right here, based on it for a fact. But this is the illusion that they put on our people, right? Watch this. Yeah, now he got revelation. And, uh, no, give me the uh, Apocrypha. Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 15 4. Watch this. Read. Come on, this is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. His who? His servants. We are the servants of the Lord. He gave it to us. Watch this. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Come on, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Now he's describing his, his image, his visual. Watch this, read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Oh, down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white like wool. Who got woolly hair? Black people, see, he knows something. Look at her. That hair is woolly texture, right? Sheep like her. Watch this, read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. But I'm gonna jump on the eyes red with fire. Do you know how his eyes? Were, it was something you asked me earlier. Do you know why his eyes were red with fire? Because he drank wine. What happened when you drank? Your eyes might turn a little red when you get right, right? Jesus' first miracle where he turned water into wine. They call him a wine biblical because why he drank wine, right? So you gotta understand that, Rick. As if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. If you put brass in the furnace, what happens? You're going to turn black, right? So now that you know that, I'm going to show you one more thing. Give me Hebrews 7, 14 to read what you got. Watch this. God, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, and verse 4. It says, for neither did the mischievous inventions of men. The who? The mischievous inventions of men. And this is why I say the so-called white people do hate to our guts with a perpetual hate because why? They had an invention that they did. Watch this, read. Deceive us, nor an image spotted with diverse colors. They did an image spotted with diverse colors. This is an image with diverse color. You got the, the man, come on, man. What, what is this? You think I'm finna pray to a dude who look gay? I mean, homosexual? You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that, bro. This was a, this was a plan and a plot. Read. Nor an image spotted with diverse colors. Now, real quick, give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14. It's the same book. You right here. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, but this is not. Yeah. Watch this. This one right here. Let me see. Verse 20. No, verse 21. Watch this. This is the last thing. And this is the main reason of all, end of all, be all. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why they, when they brought you into slavery, they gave you a new name. Because why? They didn't want you to know you was a Jew. They took you from your homeland because why? They don't want you to know that's your heritage. And when you move a man away from his heritage and his customs, he ends up becoming a Roman. While in Rome, I act like a Roman, right? Watch this. So now, not only did they destroy us, they did something to our Messiah too. Read that, verse 21. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 21. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. Who? The world. So this plot right here that they did was an occasion to deceive the world. We are the world to make us think that Jesus is white and everything that come with him. God loves everybody. God laws are done away with. God teaches us to forgive and forget about slavery. Read. For a man serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto the stones and stocks the in, in, incrumable name. Verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. But what? So it, it wasn't enough for them that you stopped keeping God's laws. You weren't doing the commandments no more. But watch this. But whereas they lived in a great war of ignorance. And this is what the war is right now. We're not in a physical war with these people at this moment. But the war that y'all in right now, y'all in a war, a great war, ignorance. 
Because guess what? They love to have you ignorant of the fact that you're the Jews. You ignorant of the fact that Jesus is a black man. That's not even his real name. His real name is Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? His, his, son, his father's name is Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that they don't want you to know. It's a great war of ignorance. Watch this, Rick. There are also great plagues called they peace. And the plagues that these people have put on us today, they taught us to embrace that in peace. I'm a project baby. You know what I'm saying? I get it in. You know what I'm saying? So these are the things that I want y'all to think about, bro. And I appreciate all y'all for sticking around. You know what I'm saying? If y'all, you know, I don't know if another brother gonna holler at y'all, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, where y'all from? Where y'all from up here? So I'm gonna pass the mic to L.E.L. You teach it next. I'll pray to the Most High. All right, shout out, y'all. Shout out, shout out. You know, Brandon Ingram. You know, Brandon Ingram. Yeah, I'm 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 they want to give me 10 minutes so we could go eat. Or 10 minutes so another brother could go. And then we go eat. If you over 10 minutes, you Yeah, I, I ain't paying for nothing. If I go 12 minutes, I around paying for everything. Hey, oh, what's up, family? How y'all doing? Hey, uh, I got one question for y'all go. Do y'all know your nationality going to the Bible? All right. Well, at least you're wearing a dress, sis. All praise to the Most High. Go ahead, give me that. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. So the Most High has forgotten so called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans because we failed to keep the law, right? We failed to remember the law that he gave us as a people. That's why we're in this situation. You guys have, you know, you're. You're in this situation because of your lack of knowledge, but it's just not any knowledge that you lack. It's lack of knowledge of self, right? right. And also with that knowledge of self, you lack the reason why you win, you know, five points, walking to whatever destination you're going to, probably just ate some food at a restaurant, took a girl out to eat, and uh, you're fronting. Like you got money in your pocket, but you're really broke as hell right now, on your way back to the car, right? So, like, it's... It's a lot of brothers and sisters in that situation tonight that I just mentioned, like the brother over there that just looked back, right? Sorry to call you out like that. But um, a lot of us in that situation simply because we don't know who we are, right? Uh -huh. Once you get to know who you are, the most I take care of you, right? What you got? You got precept? Come, this is Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So our people have no knowledge to do good, right? And uh, good is the Bible, right? Good is the law, statutes, and commandments. If you ask one of our people exactly what's in the Bible, a lot of them ain't going to know, right? So that's what we have to understand. We got to get back to knowing what's good and what, like, like in doing what's good, right? Not just knowing it. Most I said that faith without works is dead. A lot of y'all got the faith part down, but your works are absent. Your works are non-existent, right? So that's what we need to get back to in order to make ourselves better as a people. But the first thing that you got to work on, right? The first thing you got to get back to knowing in order to get that knowledge itself is who the hell you are, right? If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Black is a color out the crayon box. Native American is a native name that the cracker owned, right? Americo Vespucci. And a Hispanic is somebody that was conquered by the people from Spain, right? So read it. Job chapter 8 and verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So we have to prepare ourselves to the former age and search for our fathers. Find out who our forefathers are. Because according to the Bible, you are what your father is, right? Your pedigree comes from who you are based on your patrial lineage, right? Verse 9. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing. Because our days upon earth are a shadow. So we're of yesterday, but we don't know much because our days are upon a shadow. We're like, they're like a shadow, right? All our days are basically escaped us. And we're in a situation where... Was, you good, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you straight. No, 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 you good. Hey, but while you're here, you know your nationality according to the Bible? Huh? Okay, I know each other. All praises. Hey, uh, you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know why he over here with the crown on and stuff? You know? Word. Do you believe it? I said, do you believe it? Okay, I'll pray. All right, you too, bro. Stay up. Safety. Job chapter 8 and verse 10. Shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart? Verse 11. Can the rush grow up without... That's all I want. So we have to understand, man. If you go back to your forefathers, they can teach you and show you exactly what you've been looking for, right? The thing is, you have to know exactly what it is that you need. So you can't go to grandma and ask her, hey, grandma, you know anything about Jesus? Because chances are grandma going to know, you know, what they taught her in church, right? But if you ask grandma about who her daddy is, she'll be a teddy act, right? So those are the type of questions you need to ask. Inquire about the forefathers. Find out who your people are, right? Because if you are a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, the good that you should be doing is within this Bible, right? If you uh, aren't a black, Hispanic, and Native American, the only good you could do is once slavery begins for you and your family, right? Or you could be good and die when uh, World War III happens. That'll be good for y'all too. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways. I want to ask a question. Hey, do y'all believe in the Bible? Um, who do you say the Israelites are? Don't know? Okay. The Bible tells you it's so-called niggas, right? Nick, uh, 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 how they say it? Nigers. Yeah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, and verse 16. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. So that's what we're supposed to do. Good precept. We're supposed to ask for the old path, right? Where is it? What way shall we go? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It says, where is the good way? Where is it? Right? Is it the strip club? After tonight, right? Is it being a working girl on five points? Is it walking with your slave master? Is it wearing a dress like little Bo Peep with big old platform shoes on? I mean, you know. Go ahead. God. And walk therein. And walk therein. We have to walk in the good way, right? And you should find rest for your souls. And we should find rest for our souls, right? Give me Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Hey, you too, brother. Hey, right quick. You know your nationality going to the Bible? What is it? If you don't know, it's okay. Israelite. Hey, all, all praises. You would be an Israelite, I believe, right? Yeah, most black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Exactly. So so what, what is something that Israelites should be doing? Okay, but once you study, what are the things that you have to be doing in order to show that you studied, or, or that what you studied is going to make you approved? Because studying to show yourself approved is more than just study. In order to get the approval, you have to uh, put forth actions of the things that you studied, right? So, stand on the business in the good book, right? So, so before you go, right? What you holding? Read, uh, just listen to this, right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel... What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? So this is what the Most High requires of all the nation of Israel, right? Like you just said, some black people or most black people will be Israelites, right? But they don't know that. So once they know that, there's certain things that the Most High requires of us that we have to get to doing, right? Not just knowing or studying, we got to do it. But to fear the Lord thy God. So fearing the Most High, right? Fear comes with, like, you got a father, right? Do you know your pops? All right, so um, do you have, a, a like, a righteous fear for him? If he tell you to do something, you're going to do it? Or you just going, ah, whatever. So why is it that you would do what your father says when he asks you to do it? Why is it? Parent knows best, is it? Um, did your father ever used to discipline you and stuff when you was a kid? Nah? Hey, what's up, family? Y'all know anything about the Bible? Y'all want to come learn something? No, no. Oh, word. You're going to go see reservation? I'm going to go sin. I don't think you love God. You're about to go sin. That's a hypocritical statement. Yeah, that sure enough is. You sound like a duck monkey. Oh, shoot. Go ahead. So, alcohol's not a sin, sister. You say you about to go sin. Oh, well, all praises. Go have fun, but don't get drunk. All right, all praise to the most high. You and Israelites, sis. You still sound like a duck monkey. Go ahead. 
But, hey. Yeah, one thing I want to tell you right before you finish the precept, just to let, let, let you know, because the beard, right? You got to grow, I can tell you can grow a mustache and a beard, right? That's something that you got to get to doing. The reason all of us got beards is what we could grow, you know what I'm saying? Your beard growing around like that. I see what you do. Okay, okay. So, look, but, uh, so we got what we could grow, right? And we're keeping it on our face because it's actually a law in the Bible for us to do that. You ever seen a lion? Like, you hear us call ourselves kings and stuff like that, right? You know what a lion look like, right? Females, lions, they, they don't have a mane. Male lions, they got hair, right? You're supposed to have a beard. The reason a white man makes us cut it off is because in his society back in Rome, they used to make the people that weren't the gods of the earth not be able to wear a beard. So when you look at pictures of like uh, Alexander the Greek, they, they give him a beard when he's in his godly state. When you look at Julius Caesar, they give him a beard, right? When the people were walking the earth, they didn't have one. Which is why they make us do that in their society. Because the beard, not having that beard, takes away the power from a man, right? Spiritually. Uh, you got that precept for me? Uh, give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Or 19 and 21. Or, uh, I mean, 21 and 5. Either one. Whichever one you get to first. In fact, get 21 and 5. Because 19 and 27 is for the Levites. Let's read it plain for him. He got it. Yeah, what you was reading? All right, yeah, we can hold that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So you can't make baldness upon your head, right? If you, uh, I don't know what type of haircut you got with the wigs, but if you got like a little fade or whatever, you can't let the barber bald it, right? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you can't shave or mar the corners of your beard, meaning you got to let all of this stuff connect if it connects. Whatever you got, you got to be able to let that grow. You know what I'm saying? Like you see the Muslims, when they start growing their beard, whatever they could grow, they grow. They got that law from us, right? So... It's because, like I said, that mane is supposed to be something that gives you a certain type of spiritual power. It brings out your masculinity, right? When a man doesn't have a beard on his face, it's like you being neutered. You know what I'm saying? You walk around like him. You used to call us boy. You know what I mean? So, exactly, right. They want you to cut your hair because it's something that they know gives you a certain type of power, right? So, it's a spiritual thing. Yeah, the most hot... The, the Bible, the book of Genesis chapter 2 says God made man from the dust of the ground. So that carbonated being things is true, but there's a biblical truth to it, right? There's a biblical aspect to it. It's not the scientific Afrocentric way that they teach today. It's more so us literally being made from the dust of the ground. That's how the first man was made from our people, right? Adam. So, um, what you was holding in? Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You also can't make any cuttings of the flesh. So like, if you were going to you know, just cut yourself or whatever, even tattoos. Tattoos leaves a cut, leaves a scar, right? So we're not allowed to get tattoos either. What's up, family? Y'all know anything about the Bible? You want to get them? I'll give you the mic in a second if you can take Ultimately, keep the commandments. He said, no, you don't believe in the Bible, sis? Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. So what? What's your nationality? I'm about to give it to you, Yakwa. What's your nationality? Yeah, what's your nationality? And you listen too, because it's for you, as long as you're going to stay. Hebrew Israelite. All praises. What tribe? Judah. All praises. What about you, sis? What's your nationality? What would you call yourself at work? When you put down your piece of paper, they ask you what place you come from. What's your race? What you put down? You put the color? You put black? Let me ask you a question, right? It might sound stupid, but it's not. What color your jacket? Black, red, white, yellow. All right. Now, now, do you match the color of your jacket? This for you too, brother. Because you got on a black hoodie. Now, now, do we? Yeah, because cause look, 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 look. If you put your arm out, right? You can see your sleeve and you see your hand. It's not the same color, right? Why are we so comfortable calling ourselves after a color out the crayon box? Is there a plane I could catch Delta? Or I don't know if you like to risk your life, but if you fly Spirit, you know what I'm saying? You might catch a Spirit flight doing that. But yeah, you, you, might, you might end up in the Spirit if you ever fly Spirit. But just say, right? Is there a place I could go to called Black? Can I catch a flight? To the Black land? Hmm? Is there people called Black? Besides us? Hmm? 
If we was at the, the United Nations and we said, I'm black, are they gonna be like, oh yeah, your seat's over here? Or are they gonna be like, okay, my suit black too, nigga, what you mean? You black American, black British, like what are you? Black yeah, black? and how come they ain't gotta call themselves white British or white American? White mullet, right? Why they ain't gotta do that? But we gotta do it. Why wouldn't Mei Ling come here? She ain't gotta call herself Chinese American, but we gotta be African American, and we ain't never been to Africa. We are the Israelites, like you said, right? But the thing is, right? Us being the Israelites, it comes with something. We can't just know we're the Israelites, right? When when you're a white person, you know that you can rape, rob, murder, kill, steal, destroy, and do whatever the hell you want on earth, right? Because that's their position right now as it stands. This is their heaven, right? Contrary to popular belief, when the white man dies, he's just going to sleep like everybody else. This is their heaven that they're living in right now. That's why they get to do whatever they want. The ones you see walk around the street homeless and poor and they work at the same job as you, they're two-time losers because it's never going to get better for them, right? Meanwhile, us, we're in a situation where we're in captivity right now. We're fresh out of slavery, right? So we have to understand that we're in a situation where our situation is going to change, right? Most high will, when we get to the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to be walking around like Barney Rubble. You feel me? We're not. We're going to be in a situation where we're in power. We got real crowns on our head in real situations we can actually change, right? So, um, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Since you the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? This is what the Most High requires of us, right? But to fear the Lord thy God. So we gotta fear him, which is to, you know, be scared enough to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. To walk in all his ways. Which is actually keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. How many law, statutes, and commandments is there? All three of y'all. Anybody can answer. More than 10, that's a fact. Big facts. So why the church only teach us 10 of them? What's up, sisters? How y'all doing? Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible and history. And we can prove it. Go ahead. So so why exactly? Why don't the church teach us that? Do y'all know? Y'all ever wondered that? Why the church just tell us, hey, uh, Jesus loves you. God loves everybody. God loves the world. Now pass the bucket. Pass the plate. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, give me that. That's all they say, right? Now, now what if I told you God loves everybody is not in the Bible? Um, God loves the world is, right? But the world has a definition in the Bible. And earth is also in the Bible. And even in the dictionary, earth and world don't mean the same thing. There are two different words for a reason, right? In the Bible, the earth is the planet we live on. And world is a nation so in the book of hebrews if you will um since i'm talking about it hebrews chapter one verse one i'm sorry y'all call i'm gonna be real quick i'm trying to be quick hebrews chapter hebrews chapter one verse one and, and God, who has some dry times and diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. So, in the past, right, the Most High spake to the people by the prophets, right? Now we have. Have in these last days. In the last days, recently, right, since the New Testament, as they call it. Spoken unto us by his son. Y'all believe in Jesus Christ, the one they call Jesus? You do? All oh, praises. We do, too. You know he's a black man, right? He don't look like a. Oh, I God, that's a bet. Yeah, 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 facts. This is this is Cesare Borgia, right? Yeah. He's a real man. He was born uh, September 13, 1475, right? He's not Jesus. He was the Pope of Alexander VI, right? The the leader of the first crime family. He had sex with his sister, Lucrezia, frequently. He killed his big brother, Giovanni, to be able to lead the army at Rome. And he killed his sister's husband to be able to take care of his child that he had with his sister. <laughs> and, yeah, what's up? And he's the man that they made the image of Jesus Christ. They meaning the crackers or white people, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Yes, sir, that would be you. Yes, sir. That says he know what it is. I hope you're that happy when you go into slavery. World War III is coming, my friend. Yeah, keep that same energy. He gonna hit you with the belt. It don't stand for Superman, it stand for slavery. Right? But, yeah, that's the big whip. The one that knock you out and you wake up in ball and chains. 
Pause. So, uh, cause yeah, we in Atlanta. But what's the question you want to ask? Cause the Pope knows the truth of the Bible, right? And he knows that he's sitting in a power seat that doesn't actually belong to him, right? What you holding? Hebrews. Uh, keep going on Hebrews. So I'm gonna talk on that in a second, right? The book of Hebrews, chapter one, I'm sorry, verse two again. Have in these last days spoken to us by his son, when he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So look, the worlds, right? That's worlds with a spell. W O R L D S. So worlds with an S. So why is it saying Jesus made the worlds, but the only world we have is Earth, right? He ain't talking about the planets up there. He's talking about the nations of people, right? There's different nations of people. It's not just one nation, right? Even though America, they like you to teach us that. They, they teach America as a melting pot, right? Anybody could come here, we're all supposed to be equal. Even though when you get here, you realize everybody's not equal, right? If you're Asian man, you could come here, have a green card, you're good, and then, you know, but the black people, we the ones walk around homeless, we don't got nowhere to go, right? So it's not any equality here, and it never will be, right? That's why Most High is going to destroy this place, and he's slowly getting to the point where it's happening. You feel what I'm saying? So, but we're out here teaching, just to sum it up, right? We're trying to teach black, Hispanic, and Native American people that they have to come back to their heritage, which is the Bible, right? They are the Israelites, according to the Bible and history, right? So, black people are the southern kingdom, tribe of Judah, right? Uh, tribes of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, kingdom of Judah, rather. And you have the northern kingdom, which would be Hispanic and Native Americans, right? Of Negroid and Indian descent. Not the $5 Indians, right? Yeah. Not the ones who knows turn red in the cold. So what? We have Africa. We don't have Africa. So the reason we don't have Africa is because, no, no, it's not that they're not, right? The, the chart that we have that we're using, we're talking to people on this side of the earth. So we're trying to wake up the people here predominantly. There are Africans that are Israelites, right? Our people were in Africa and we actually got sold by a lot of the Africans into slavery. So there's a difference, right? Have you guys heard the term, everybody's skin to you ain't kin to you? So that means everybody black ain't the same, right? They try to teach us that now. The church will teach you everybody's a Hamite, but that's not the facts. Uh, there's actual Africans, right? That actually sold us into captivity to white people. And the Bible, the book of Amos talks about that. Those Africans are going into slavery too, once we get to ruling again. So, all right, that's a bet. Well, um, hey, anytime y'all got a chance to come back, bro, brothers is going to be right here. We also in uh, the belt line if y'all ever over there, all right? Next time, stay as long as you want, brother. She got to get this word. All right. So, so I'm going to get two more precepts, y'all, and then I'm going I'm to I'm give it to, to Yaakov. So what? I don't know what I want. I want some food. Um, <laughs> give me Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Yeah, Baruch 2 and 30. Because some of our people got to understand, right? Yeah, he saw it's time to get on. We said Baruch, and he said, all right, I got skedaddle. You said what now? You said what? You say you I ain't popping no pimples. What you say? You said we might be performing. What is he saying? That I'm. You say you might be a poor man. You say you might be a Roman. You say I might be a Roman. Did he say I might be a Roman? You might be homeless. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he said, you know, you did, man. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 3. That a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter. Was I wrong for that? I did say Baruch in 2.30. Baruch 2 and 30. Yeah, 2 and 30. He said I look like a Roman. No, I don't like no Roman. Don't do me like that. You, you look like you homeless. You look like you don't need that wheelchair. You look like you faking. You look like you eat raw people. You look like Jeffrey Dahmer's grandfather. Go ahead. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. So we knew that our people wouldn't hear us, right? Because it is a stiff-necked people. Because right? the S on that belt stands for stiff neck, right? Go ahead. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. <laughs> so, in the land of our captivities, right? We have to understand and remember that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. And we have to know that with that knowledge, you can't just know it. It's not something you just know. Faith without works is dead. When Yahweh who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ comes back on the scene, 
and he comes and looks at you in your face with the sword in his hand, dripping blood, right? With, with the with the red garment, right? Because because he just got finished trading in the Rhine Press. He just killed all the Edomites in Basra, and now he's come to America to render his anger and vengeance with flames of fire and fury, and to cut niggas' heads off with the sword, according to Zephaniah 1 and 8, to punish the king's children first, right? So as he comes back to do all of that, and he looks at you, and you say, yo, I knew I was an Israelite. Why are you, why are you mad? He gonna say, I never knew you. Why? Because you didn't do anything. You had no works to come with the knowledge of you knowing who you were, right? Because there's a heritage that comes with this. When you go back to Africa and you ask one of the Igbo people, you know, what their heritage is, and they tell you, and they show you their heritage and stuff, they're not just telling you something, they're showing you things that come along with that, right? The, the fufu and all that crap, right? So, uh, for real, I'm being real. So, like, when you go to Liberia, first thing you're going to get when you get off the plane, right, is some soup and some fufu. Real talk. That's part of the the, 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 the tradition that they've basically inherited from Africa, right? So there's customs that come with that. When you come into being, the, when you, like when you come into the knowledge of you being an Israelite, what are the things you're supposed to get from that? That's what we have to be asking ourselves, right? There's feast days and all these type of things that we're supposed to be keeping. That's what we have to get back to. Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. And this is about to tell you where you can find those things. All these things are the book of the covenant. Of the Most High God. Yep. All these things. Everything I've said and everything the brothers have said. Everything in this Bible, right? Go ahead. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. Even the law which Moses commanded for a heritage to the congregation of Jacob. All right? So that's what we got to get back to. So with that, I'll go ahead and close it out. I'm Brother All. Y'all know the house to say Shalom. Shalom. Y'all give it a double, man, a double honor to this brother, man, hell yeah, man, who brought this word out mighty, man. Come on, let me get some readers up here, man. All praise, all praise, all praise. Give me back. Come on, let me get the book of, uh, what you got, Second Kings chapter 17 and verse 7. Hold that. Let me get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse uh, 26. Bring that out, kid. This is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 26. For they went and served other gods. They did what? They went and served other gods. And this is it. This is the backlash. This is the, the, the illustration of what happens when our people follow out the different nations and serve the other gods. Read. And worship them. And do what? And worship them. And that's why Jake walking around following people dressed like boxers and Orphan Annie. And damn, uh, the Edomite just walked through here with a damn bulls out of his damn stomach. And all people follow them. They're right behind him, man. They don't give a damn. They want to look like whatever the next. You know what? You can't make this up because I just spoke it and the Lord is manifesting it right now. We speak, man. Read. God's whom they knew not. God's what? God's whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. The Lord said he didn't give us these people, man. He didn't give us the so-called white man with the damn box on him. He didn't give us the damn transformer. That's right. They've been giving you transformers, damn go bots and things for years, and now they got you ready to transform yourself. Damn Decepticons. That's what they are, man. They're deceptive ass people, man. Deceiver cops. You know what I'm saying? And that's why our people follow after these people, man. Sister, you got a minute for the word of the Lord. I mean, I have all the minutes. Please stop following after so called white women, man. They're going to lead you right to that damn alley where the so-called white man going to pull up in a white van and throw your ass in there, man. That's right. Then you're going to be missing and nobody's going to know where you're at, man. Read, King. Well, they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they knew not. And those are the gods that we knew not, man. The damn robot box man. The so-called white man with the damn cowboy home, man. Those are the people that we've got to follow, man. Like the Lord said, man. Learn not the way of these wicked ass heathens in the last days, man. Right. What you got, King? Read it out. Second Kings chapter 17, verse 7. For so it was, the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord. Their God. What? Sin against the Lord, their God. And then we just gonna be continue to sin against the Lord our God, man, by following out the different way, different diverse ways that was not given to us from this book, this instruction book that the most high with its own fingers wrote down, man. Read, King. Which have brought them out, out of the land of Egypt. But we don't give a damn. He brought us up out of the land, so we ready to go right back into that thing. We ready to walk right back into Egypt, man. Why? Because what, what the so-called white man and these other scat nations got is it, it's appealing to us, man. That's right. Keeping the commandments of the Lord is not appealing these days, man. But guess what? Neither is fire and brimstone in the day that the Lord returns, man. Uh -huh. 
Pain and death is not going to be appealing in these last days, man. Right. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of God? No time right. for Jesus? Have a bit. Okay. Look, look, she said no. Said, I'm talking to the brother. She said no. That's how Satan speaks all the time, man. Read, King. For it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, uh -huh. which had brought them up out of the, hand, the land of Egypt, from under the hand of Pharaoh. From who? For under the hand of Pharaoh. If we take Pharaoh's hand, we pull it back over us like a damn blanket, man. I want to follow George Biden. Donald Trump is going to do something. Donald Trump ain't going to do a damn thing but stay orange and die, man. He's going to be cut down in the land of the living just like so-called Joe Biden. Read. From under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, uh -huh. and have feared other gods. What? And have feared other gods. And that's all we fear. I mean, we don't fear the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. We fear other gods, man. Now, somebody can take a potato and carve it. Israel. We fear it, man. Paint it gold. Put it on a chain. The Lord said we fear other gods, but we do malice type things, man. Read. And walk in the statues of the heathen. And what? And walk in the statues of the heathen. And then you see it up. You can't make it up. Yeah. You manifested our sister walk in the statues of the heathen. That's right. She half dressed, got a damn crown on her head, just like the heathen my God. And she's gonna follow whatever they do. They gonna, they might do some things to her tonight. And that's sad, man. She might get converted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the wrong way. The wrong, you know what I'm saying? We don't understand the, the dangers we put ourselves in when we don't follow the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, right? Read on. Whom the Lord cast out from the, before the children of Israel uh -huh. and the kings of Israel, which they had made. With what? Which they had made. And we'll make any damn thing, man. We'll put a squirrel on the ground and then all of a sudden he became the God. Read, King. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord their God. We did what? Secretly those things. Mm -hmm. We're hiding back. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the word of God? Okay, one minute. Wait, let me ask you a question, King. If I ask you one question, King, what, if I ask you this question, because a lot of people, we get different answers. I want to know your perspective. What is your nationality? If I ask you. Uh, I see why they do that, because... I will pose the question as, what is your ethnicity? Regardless of what, it's the same, it's, it's well, the same word, King. Yeah, but people kind of like differentiate. Let me ask you, okay, I'm, I'll ask you from your point, what is your ethnicity? I'm straight off, man. I'm to my guy, so many BBs up here. <laughs> oh, okay. So let me, you would say your people came, your, your people came from what? Are people that came off of slave ships? Huh? Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Do you understand that thousands of years ago, the Most High God, he prophesied that a certain people, which were his chosen people, would go into slavery on a slave ship? Bring that out, King. Bring that out. Right. Guess what? I know we the chosen. All right, let me ask you a question. Let me get to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Yeah, let me get to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring that out. Yeah, bring that out. Watch this, King. Deuteronomy chapter 10, Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And it reads, And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God? Oh, you know we're the chosen. You know we're the children of Israel. The Lord said he, he requires this of you. Read. To walk in all his ways. What? To walk in all his ways. Uh -huh. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So if you know that we're the children of Israel, we God's chosen people, so you should know now that we have to keep God's commandments, right? You know what I'm saying? I like to say it like this. Uh, the law commanded, but grace demands. Can you break that down for me, brother? The law commanded, condemned, but the grace So, so are, hold on. We still have to honor law, uh, God's commandments. So, but really you can sum it all up though so you're saying that we now that we are upon the grace the law we don't have to keep the law no 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 I said, I said the law commanded was up on the commandments but that don't give you a free slate because we up on the grace grace also demands that you 
reverence him, honor him, keep his commandments. Hey, that's right. That's right. <laughs> all right, all right, that. all right, all right, all right. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get that because I want to know because you know some people bring that up to us. You know what I'm saying? And it, depending on your word, you know what I'm saying. So we have to keep God's commandment. Let me ask you: Do you know some of God's commandment that we need to keep? I know the ones that some have to hold on. Let me, get, let, me, let, me give you, let me give you one. Let me give Leviticus chapter 11. All right. Huh? Right. Watch this one. Go to Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the swine. You know what swine is, right, brother? All right. Read. Though he divide the hoof and, he, and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Say what? He is unclean to you. So you agree that we must, we're not supposed to eat pork, right? I disagree. All right. Okay. Oh. Can you show me one scripture in this Bible that the Lord said we can, we can eat pork? Well, I, I can show you what the Lord said. Everything that he made is good. Oh, 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 Let oh. me get Acts chapter 10, no, 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 Ken. No, 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 no. Let me get uh, Hold on. No, because I got to get that to you, Ken. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what we have, they didn't have that. What's what I'm let me get the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 13. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me get the book of Acts chapter 10. <laughs> yeah, we can bring that out. We're going to start verse 9. We, no, we're going to start with 10. Uh, uh, hold on. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Right. Let's go to. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to bring it verse 9. Bring that kick. Okay. This is Acts chapter 10 and verse 9. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to elaborate and show you what the Lord was talking about. In, the, in that particular chapter you just said, read. And it reads, On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry. He did what? Became very hungry and would have eaten. But while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven open and, and a certain vessel descended unto him. As it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four footed beasts, all manner of what? Four footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Do what? Kill and eat. So the Lord is speaking, of, he's talking to Peter. He's telling Peter, Look, rise, Peter kill and eat. He just showed them all these animals. Right? Read. And there came a voice to him, rise. Give me um, Leviticus chapter 11 verse 26. Read. Kill and eat. But Peter said, not so. What? Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. So Peter said he's never eaten anything common, uncle common or unclean. Right. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read. All over the place. Read. Read. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, What God have cleansed that called not thou common? This was done thrice, and this was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. Okay, now keep reading. Now while Peter doubted in himself what this vision which he had seen. Peter really didn't understand the vision either, just like you really don't understand the vision, brother. Read. Get to verse 26. Verse 26. But Peter took him up. What? But Peter took him up, Read. saying, Stand up! What? Stand up! Read. I myself also am a man. I'm a man too, Cornelius. Read. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were come together. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company. He was elaborating on that Yahweh, Hamashiach, who we call Jesus Christ, had came and died and cleansed the sins of Israel, now I can go back to my brother and speak to them. Okay? He's not talking about food here. Read. Or come unto one of another nation. But God has showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. What is verse 11 talking about? That he should not call any man common or unclean. He's not talking about eating unclean beef, brother. I know. But what he saw in Peter is he done tore down the veil of prejudice, what they've been living up under. Because guess what? Separation right there. Uh, 
Give me five seconds. First time you're five thirty. I'm gonna give you two more talk. Come on, 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 Again, let me first Peter four and eleven. Let me share to you what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm listening, brother. Let me ask you a question. Now, anything you say to me, you're gonna need to be able to go in that Bible and prove it to us, right? The Lord said, "Prove all things." Because I, I, I listen, listen. I understand the respect and the love that you want to give me as a brother, but if you speak not according to these scriptures, we're not gonna do it. I'm one of the ones that's going to do that. And I, and I All right, but, but, but we're going to find out. Read. So, 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 check. Hold on. Bring this precept out and I'm going to let you talk. Read. 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4. Because it's 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, what? if any man speak, what? let him speak as the oracles of God. And that's the only thing I ask you, but he speak as the oracles of God. So, you, but go ahead. Are you saying that I didn't? No, I'm asking. No, I'm just telling you how we roll up there. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I, well, I just, when I said I'm free, uh -huh. I'm at liberty. We all are. To do as you please, but be represent. But what you do should honor the Lord. Period. Let me get Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Okay, here we go. Bring it out. Yes. Let's get the whole conclusion of the whole matter, man. Great. Is it clear that's okay? I give it to you like this. All things are lawful for me. Uh, Meaning I can do as I please. Right. But not all things are expedient. Meaning that which will bound me. Watch hey, this. Hey, back up in that scene. Why would I walk over there and do that? But I'm at liberty to do as I please. Let me ask you a question. Did you go shopping today? Did you buy anything to eat today? You were in sin today. Then. Today's the Lord's Sabbath. So you can put yourself back in the bounds of sin, brother. I'm not going to say this. I say this. Oh, I'm trying to be patient. Go ahead. Watch this, brother. Let me get. Let me get Leviticus 11 and 26 right here. Yep. Leviticus 11 26. Because I'm trying to, you know so what I'm saying? Me, no, I'm trying to meet my brother where his knowledge is. Really. You're telling me that. Uh, Wait, go ahead. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 26. The carcass of every beast which divideth the hood and is not clover footed, nor to if not the cud, are unclean unto you. The Lord said, the carcass of every single beast. That is probably clover for the wet and do it. Chew it, not the clover. Those things are unclean to you. Read. Everyone that touches them, Every what? everyone that touches them uh -huh. shall be unclean. Shall be unclean. Read. And whosoever goeth upon his uh, upon his paws uh -huh. among all manner of beasts that go on all fours, uh -huh. those unclean unto you, whosoever touches their causes shall be unclean. Read. Shall be unclean. Why? Until the until the evening. And that's just plain out put it, man. Let me get Romans 7 and 1, King. Romans 7 and 1, because you got to understand what's going on in the New Testament. What, what makes you think I don't know, bro? Because, hey, watch this. Bring it, give, me, give, me, give me Romans 7. Read. No, I mean, right. Let me ask you a question. Because you got to misunderstand that the law was going on. Read. No, I don't. No, I, don't. I got the spirit in me too. Okay. <laughs> Believe that. Let's start from one, man. Uh, this is Romans chapter 7 and verse 1. No, ye not. Brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. The Paul said he's speaking to one of those that what? Have understanding according to these scriptures, read. How that the law have dominion over what? How have the law have dominion over what? How have the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth? So it's Peter, James, Paul, Bartholomew, Andrew, Yahweh Shai, and the rest of the disciples, including the Apostle Paul, have the understanding that the law has dominion over a man as long as he he liveth. I think that's the same thing I just said. You know, but you're but you're, but you're squeezing in on how you can break the law, how you got the authority to do things. I quoted scripture to you just a second ago. 
So it, do, do, tell me, I just bring around the score. Yeah, bring, bring, I, bring I, the script. What I said a minute ago was scripture. Bring, bring it up. Right. I'm at first chapter. Liberty to do it. Okay, okay. this is Romans chapter four, 14, verse one. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful this disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God have received him. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth for fallen or fallen. Exactly keep, hold on, keep reading on. Exactly keep reading, read. Yea, he shall be holding up. For God is able to make him stand. Uh -huh. One man esteemeth one day above another. Uh -huh. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Exactly. Read. So what is he saying? He's going to the fact that, hey, one man may not keep the commandments now, right? No, don't twist it, bro. Don't a man, a man it. might not keep the commandments. Hold on. Don't twist it. Don't twist it. You ain't twisting nothing. I'm not twisting nothing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, talking about justice. Read. Exactly. I'm that means I can't put you to death for doing something. But I can, but my thing is to give you what? Grace so you can you learn to repent, you brother. You did it. You did it. I did what? You did it. What did I do? You already did. I put you to death. Yes, you did. I keep reading. Verse, verse 6. <laughs> no, I ain't talking about that. He that regarded the day, regarded it unto the Lord. And he that regarded not the day. To the Lord, he do that's it on that. Let me get the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 17, man. Let me get the book of De uh, um, Deuteronomy chapter 23, man. Let's get this thing going, man. Somebody give me Ezekiel chapter 45 and verse 7, and let's break Colossians down to him so he can understand what's going on with the law, man. Let's do this thing, man. That's what we got to no, we got to do because we, I, see what you, I see what you're misunderstanding here. Colossians chapter 2, King. I can break. Like that, right, bro? Two verse one. You a for sure. Two verse one. Matter of fact, let me get Proverbs chapter four verse two, Read, King. Proverbs chapter four verse one. Before you hold on, we're gonna we're gonna break Colossians down. Read, go ahead. Verse one. Uh -huh. Proverbs chapter four and verse one. Hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. I give you what? I give you good doctrine. The Lord gives us good doctrine. Read. Forsake ye not my law. Do what? Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me. What did he say unto you, brother? Let thine heart retain my words. Do what? Let my heart retain thy words. Keep my commandment. Do what? Keep my commandment. Do what? Keep my commandment. No, you got the, you got your own choice. Keep my commandment. Free. And live. And what? And live. Let me ask you a question, brother. Let me, I'm going to be out the door so you can tell a man by his countenance. Right. You're saying that you keep God's commandments. Where are your fringes at, bro? Mm. Fringes. Fringes. Let me get that. Let me, let me, let, let's get that, man. Let's get that, bro. Bring it out, King. That for the brother. Read. This is Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Get Speak what? unto the what? children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Oh, what? Throughout their generation. That means as long as they're alive, they're testament. supposed to have fringes on. Read. Come on. And that they put Come upon on. the fringe Listen, of the borders a brick band of blue. A brick band of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it. To what? Look up upon it. Uh -huh. And remember all the commandments. Remember all the commandments, he brother. You he ain't heard you said. No, because... Clock, 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 <laughs> he, said, he said you were in the Old Testament. He don't believe... I guess you don't believe that, right? Who? I, 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 I guess. Let's get Colossians, man. Don't assume, homie. I, I, I tell you I tell you what... Hold on, hold on. So, like it. I so, what I so, can, so we can see in. Who? who when did I ever say that? Huh? When did I ever say that? What is it saying? You know what it's saying is? Yeah. What is it saying, brother? Missing the ball. No. Yo, what is in according to the Bible, man? Let me get Isaiah 8 and 20, man. First John chapter 2 and 3 verse 4. This is First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, whoso what? Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin. For what? For sin. For what? For sin. 
Read. Is the transgression of the law. It's the transgression of the law, man. Let me get the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14, man. I was trying to hold on, but now I got to come here again, man. Now I got to go ahead and show my brother something, man. Let me get... You missing the mark. That's what saying is. Bring it in there, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 uh -huh. To the law And to the testimony To the law which is the first five books of the Bible And the testimony which is the Old Testament That's right Read If they speak not according to this word If they do what? If they speak not according to this word It is because there is no light in them Guess what? The Lord said if you, Because you don't have any understanding brother But if you would humble down Take your pride Put it to the side for a second And the brother will show you what's going on Bring it out here you want Matthew 5, what? 14. Come on, this is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. We are what? Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on and hill cannot be hid. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding that the Lord's high gave us, it can't be here, brother. You're going to come up here, you're going to test this book, and you're going to be found a liar, brother. Because you're speaking your own word. No, I, no, I, can I speak now? You asked me a question, I answered it. But just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But go ahead, King. You misinterpreted what I said and you ran to the scripture. I never said I never said what you're talking about. I never said Somebody that. Somebody give me Mr. Mark. I never said that. Hey, Eliel. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Can you, you look up? To can you go to the scripture and say you're going to miss the mark? <laughs> See it is missing the mark. You <laughs> call, brother. You call. Now, Can you go to miss the mark? I, I try to. Find I don't it. want to miss it. Which mark you talking about? You talking about Mark the man? What is the mark? Matthew Mark the Mark is God's standard, man. Huh? You missed the mark. is God's standard. The Lord is there. What do you think? I'm gone, man. The wicked flee. Come on, brother. Stay here. Stay here. Hold you down. Hold you down. I rebuke that. You ain't gonna speak that on my life. I rebuke it. Hold down. I ain't holding it down. I rebuke it. Damn. I rebuke it. It's Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-two. But I say unto you that if whosoever is angry with his brother, angry with his brother, angry with his brother, without a cause, you getting upset and you're angry without the cause, brother. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the Leviticus chapter nineteen and verse twenty seventeen, man. Read. If I was angry, you will know it. But you won't, you Come on, brother. Let's be for real, man. What you doing all the time? No, because I'm doing this. this I said the Lord, brother. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See, see what I'm saying? But I say unto you that whosoever is angry bro. with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. That's the judgment you might be in danger, brother. We're not supposed to, we're supposed to what? Correct these guys. Right. Let me get Leviticus 19 and 17. Bring it up. Leviticus really? chapter 19 really? verse 17. Really? Thou shalt not hate thy really? brother in thy heart. Really? Thou shalt not hate thy brother really? in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt shall not hate right? any wise. We, 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 we got part again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not any wise hurt thy neighbor. Lord said, I'm supposed to rebuke you and bring you correction. Are you saying my heart? What does my heart say? And not what suffer sin upon him. What is it Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That's what I'm not here to do. I'm not gonna bear any grudge against my people because he don't have an understanding. Let me get second. Quit saying that, bro. Quit saying that. Two and two, man. Quit saying that. Second Samuel chapter two and verse two. Second Samuel chapter two. Right. Let me get Proverbs chapter one. Just because I don't give an answer that you like is satisfactory to you. Don't mean I don't know, bro. Proverbs chapter two and two. For real. Brother, you don't know. We're trying to help you out. You don't know what I know. You don't know what I know. For real. You really don't. Let me ask you a question. Ask it. I'm going to find out if you know what you know. Ask it. What is next week? The following. The following. Huh? The following. This is 2 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. So David went up hither and his two wives also. A hot. First time to it. Let me tell you. Let me show you what you're doing. Let me show you what you're doing. Straight up. This is what you're doing. First Samuel. This is First Samuel chapter two and verse two. And it reads: There is none holy as the Lord. The what? There is none holy as the Lord. There is none holy as the Lord, man. If it don't come out of this book. Not the destruction of the Lord, man. It is not holy. Yes, For there is none beside thee. There is what? There is none beside thee. I got my own word. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Uh -huh. 
Talk no more. Do what? Talk no more. Do what? Talk no more. So exceeding proudly. Brother, you're talking exceedingly proud out here, man. You need to humble down. Let the brother, let, let us, we'll break this down to you if you humble down, Right, bro. Now, I don't, you feel listen, me? listen, listen, I can't humble down when you keep telling me I don't have the understanding. You don't know what I know. Read that again. You don't know what I know. Talk no more, so exceeding proudly. Uh -huh. Let not arrogancy yeah. come yeah. out of your mouth. Uh -huh. Now check this out. Arrogancy, come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. A God of what? The Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are away. Actions away. We say you don't have friends. You don't know what the, what the, uh, the next money is. Free you time. don't know the things that I've asked you, brother. But, but You've been guess, zero for guess, zero. Guess so. what, though? Guess what, though? That interests you. My interest ain't your interest. Quit trying to make your interest mine. Let straight get, up. Let me get Ecclesiastes straight chapter up. 5 and verse 1. Out. Straight up. Out. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. That don't matter to me, bro. You know what matters to me? Let me get Revelation you know 2 and 1, man. Right? You know what matters to me? What he put on my heart and dropped in my spirit. That's what matters to me. The Lord said the hardest, the most wickedest thing in earth, right? That's right, bro. No, no. Why? It's Jeremiah 7. I get a free set too? Hey, you shouldn't get it. Which one? Revelation 2. Desperately wicked. That's what it say. Desperately. It's Revelation 2. Who can know it? That right? Ah, the Lord. That's what he said. Get on out of here. Hey, hey, can we get to the end? No, 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 no. According to his deeds, yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, come on, man. Come Let me get Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Give me some right to, uh, to the 12 and 13. Wait a minute. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 13. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 13. Keep thy foot when thou goest in the house of God. Do what? Keep thy foot when thou goest in the house of God. Keep thy foot when thou goest in the house of God. Oh, you know what that means? Keep thy foot when thou goest in the house of God. And be more ready to hear. And do what? And be more ready to hear. Uh huh. And to give the sacrifice of fool. Because you're going to say something that's going to be foolish. And this is for the men of the Lord that's out here, y'all. Always be patient and have an, understand, have an understanding. If you don't understand what the scriptures are saying, bro, just listen, be patient. Listen, listen, listen. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the things that you're going to, it don't interest me, bro. It has no... What interests you, bro? Huh? My relationship with the Lord and what he leads me to, to spring forth his truth. Do you know what you got to do to receive salvation? I'm asking you because God bless, God bless. The, the relationship, no, no, no. God bless. The relationship, hold on, brother, you come in a different spirit. A relationship with the Lord should be predicated on you trying to receive the gift of everlasting life from your house by something like that was man. And if you ain't trying to keep that, man, read, wait a minute. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 12. The beginning of pride. The what? The beginning of pride. The what? The beginning of pride is when one departed from God. That's what he departed for the Lord. He got his own philosophies. He got his own breakdown. He got his own words in his own heart. He's not reading out the Bible. And he don't give a damn. He said he don't care about nothing we say. These are the words of the Lord, man. Let me get to hold that again. Let me get the book of 1 Samuel and chapter 2 again, man. I got to hear this again, verse 2, man. We got to hear it again because you came with your own rhetoric. I was trying to be patient. I didn't want to just cut the brother up. You feel me? It's, it's a thousand precepts went through my head, but I was trying to be patient with the brother, man. Read that, dude. Two. Because this first Samuel chapter 2 and verse 2. Uh -huh. There is none holy. There's what? There is none holy. There's nobody like the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh child, man. Right. Ain't nobody more set apart than the Lord our God, man. Read. There is none holy as the Lord, uh -huh. for there is none beside thee. Uh -huh. Neither is there any rock like our God. Uh -huh. Talk no more. Neither is any rock like our God, man. That's what happens when you bugged out and you got your own doctrine, your own philosophy, and you try to come in against the men of the Lord. I was very patient. Hey, son, you, want to give me a bar, man? you know what I'm saying? Our brother could have came up here and, and did a little slicing and dicing and down fillet, thin fillets, man. But I didn't want to do that to my brother. But guess what? Sometimes you have to kind of go in on him, man. I'm going to get a couple more pieces up and close out. Let me get the book of Judges chapter 2 and verse um, 11, man. Let's get this, man. Let me get the book of Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 13, King. Judges chapter 2. Hold what you got. Let me get the... Hold, hold that. Keep going. Hold, keep getting that one. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12, man. Judges chapter 2 and verse 11. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Let me get the book of uh, Isaiah chapter... Uh, 26... In, uh, 13. 
13. Because our people, we fall into these holes and we want to get upset because he don't know nothing. You, the brother said sin was the mark, missing the mark. I need to know so I don't miss the mark. Mr. Mark. I, I, was, I was angry one time when I missed my damn bus. And you telling me I'm about to miss the mark? I need to say, hold on, King. Hey, Somebody King. break this down to me. Bring that out, King. This is Judges chapter 2 and verse 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Did what? Did evil in the sight of the Lord. What's breaking the Sabbath? Read. Did evil in the sight of the Lord. What's not having your fringes on? Did evil in the sight of the Lord. What's I can eat pork? Did evil in the sight of the Lord. What's I can lie to my brother and get angry with him? Did evil in the sight of the Lord. I can eat shrimp, lesser, and crab. Did evil in the sight of the Lord. I can murder my brother. Did evil in the sight of the Lord. And serve by him. And they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, uh -huh. which brought them out of the land of Egypt. And that's what the brother, that was wrong with the brother. He forsook the most high God. He got no wisdom and understanding. And now he's mad at the man of the Lord. Read. And follow other gods. What? Follow other gods. My heart. The Lord knows my heart. Man, the Lord knows he's going to destroy you in the ladies if you don't listen to the prophets. He's going to destroy you if you don't keep his commandments. Right. He's going to destroy you if you keep walking out the so-called these Edomite-ass ways, man. Right. The brother had just walked... He walked from across the street. I, I saw him coming. I saw T.D. Jakes in the mirror. I thought, I saw him coming, man. I saw the hair. I seen the glaze. I said, here is one that's going to be proud. Read. They follow other gods. Of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. Provoke the Lord to anger. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to keep going and going and going and follow the so-called God of Becky and Susie and provoke the Lord to anger, man. Read. Thank you, Susie. Verse 13. And they forsook the Lord. And forsook the Lord. And served ba Baal uh -huh. and Astra. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. We've been serving all the gods so damn long, man. We'd have forgot what their names are. Let me do because book Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 4. Bring what you got, King. Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 13. Uh -huh. O Lord, our God, uh -huh. other lords besides thee have domain over us. What? Read it, my little king. Okay. O Lord, our God, other lords beside thee have uh, had domain over us. They got dominion over us, man. We'll serve any damn thing. Read. But by thee only will we make mention of thy name. Uh -huh. They are dead. Yeah, you know what? They are dead. We done? They shall not live. Uh -huh. They are deceased. Yeah, they are deceased. Read they shall not rise. Uh -huh. Theref therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. And that's what Yahweh, Yahweh is going to do in the day he returned, man. He's bringing fire, brimstone, and he's going to destroy the fake gods of the other nations, man. We're not going to be able to fall out the cushion. We're not going to follow fat Buddha. We're not going to follow all these fake ass gods, man. We're not going to follow the so-called white man up and down fucking peace tree. With a damn uh, robot suit, man. Right. We're not going to do none of these damn things when y'all want y'all in turn, man. And he convert the ones that he had chosen to convert, man. Read. Thou hast increased the nation. Thou what? Thou hast increased the nation. We're not going to be killing each other, murdering each other anymore, man. The, the, the spirit of Israel is going to increase in those days. Read. Oh, Lord, thou hast increased the nation. Uh -huh. Thou art glorified. Thou what? Thou art glorified. We done? Thou hast removed its far unto all the ends of the earth. Uh -huh. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. Uh -huh. And they poured out a prayer when they chastened when, when they chat when thy chastened chastening was upon them. Really? Like a woman that went like a woman with a child. Like a woman with a child, man. When that kind of pain get on you gonna see you gonna, you gotta go to prayer. Read that King. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter one. 20 verse 4. This is Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 4. Wilt thou judge them, son of man? Wilt thou judge them? Cause them to know the abominations of their fathers. That's what we tried to do. We tried to cause the brother to know the abominations that our forefathers did that he was still choosing to do. Read. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord God. Thus said the Lord God. No, I got my own philosophy. Thus said the Lord God. I'm going to follow T.D. Jakes with my hairdo and I'm going I'm to come out of my own mouth. Thus said the Lord God. The Lord said, Thus said the Lord God. It's not coming out of this Bible. We are not want to hear it, man. Read. In the day when I choose Israel. Did I choose who? Choose Israel. Read. And lifted up my hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob. Uh -huh. And made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. When I lifted up my hand unto them. Read. Saying, I am the Lord your God. I am what? 
I am the Lord your God. The Lord said he's the Lord our God, man. This man got his own damn gods in his head, man. False philosophies, following the gods out to other nations. You don't even know what's going on with the gods of the other nations. Let me get Psalm 965. This is what's going on with the gods of the other nations because they're false. We king. In the day that I lifted up my hand unto them to bring them forth of the land of Egypt into a land that I had despised for them, flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands. Then I then said unto them, Cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes. Do what? Cast. So like, cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes. What the Lord say? Cast ye away every man the abominations of his eyes. Israel, you're black, Hispanic, and Native American. Cast the abominations away, man. Cast the so-called philosophy of the white man away. Cast the so-called philosophy of America and China and all these other fake-ass religions away, man. Because you will not stand in the day that the Lord returns, man, with all these crazy-ass abominations and abominable things that you do. Read, King. Because the, the other gods, man, they're, they're not gods. That's right. They're false. Mm. He can't even breathe. Come. They're going to stop breathing just like this Edomite on his scooter. Yeah. Breathe. He's going to kill him. That's his own son. Read. <laughs> Psalms chapter 96, verse 5. Read. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Are what? Are idols. And the Lord said, we know, you know how the Lord feel about our daughter, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to tear down these strongholds, get all these false things out of our mind, man. Repent and come back to the Lord in these last days, man. Let me get the book of Wisdom, Solomon chapter 3 and verse 17. Let me get the book of Psalms 119 and verse 9. And I'm going to shut it down, right? Let me get what you got first. Verse 9. Bring that out. Psalms 119 and verse 9, King. Read. Because what we need to be doing is what, is what King David and all our other ancestors from before the ancient ones did back in those days. Read. Psalm chapter 9, 119, verse 9. Uh -huh. Where wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? How could he change his ways, man? Read. By taking heed thereto according to the according to thy word. Read it again. By taking heed to according to thy word. By taking heed according to the Lord's word. Read. With with my whole heart. With what? With my whole heart. Read on. Have I sought thee? Uh -huh. Oh, let me not wonder for thy commandments. Let me not what? Oh, let me not wonder for thy commandments. I got a choice. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. And that's all I'm saying to you, blessed spending neighbor maker. Do not wonder and come back to the Lord's commandments in these last days, man, that you could be righteous and safe and be seen to found to be what? Proven righteous in the last days, man. The Lord make you let you live, give you a, uh, everlasting life, man, instead of destroying your ass in front of the white man, man. Read. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 9. Uh -huh. They that put their trust in him, what? they that put their they trust, trust in him, shall understand the truth. To understand the truth. And such as be faithful uh -huh. in love, in, what? in love, uh -huh. shall abide with him. Shall abide with him. What the man of the Lord gonna do? Shall abide with him. We're gonna be faithful in and refined in the man of the Most High God. Man. For grace and mercy. For what? For grace, grace. and mercy. Oh, I thought grace and mercy, but only in the New Testament. The Lord said, "For grace and mercy, read." Is to his saints. To his what? To his saints. And he uh, that care for his uh, elect. Uh, care for his elect, man. Hold what you got, real quick. Let me get the Book of Revelation 18 and 4, real quick. Because we got to understand that the Lord going to tear this place up, man. It's going to be white babies and white uh, uh, salt and pepper beard, man, all over the damn place when the Lord returns, man. He don't give a damn, man. It's going to be baby strollers, wheelchair walkers, canes, and I can't wait to see it, man. Because the way y'all treated us, man, I'm not going to hide the way I feel, man. Well, that's 18 and 21. Bring that out, King. I mean, 18, 18 and 4. Bring that out, King. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord come down and take the so-called white man, flip his ass inside out, man, it's going to be a beautiful day, man. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from the heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Do what? Come out of her, right. my people. Stop following the so-called white man. Read on. Right. That, ye may, that ye be not partakers of her sin. You don't want to feel the wrath that the so-called white man and the other nations got from the Lord, man. All right, let me get the book of, oh, we got two more precepts, but I'm going to close it out. Let me get the book of Jeremiah chapter 37 and verse 20, man. Let me, let me get Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Read that, okay? What's the Psalm chapter 3 and verse 9? Uh 
-huh. They that put their trust in him uh -huh. shall understand the truth. And that's why people don't understand the truth because they didn't put the Lord. Read. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Uh -huh. For grace and mercy is to his saints. For what? For grace and mercy is to his saints. Grace and mercy to the so-called Donald, Donald Trump brother right here that's orange. Mm -hmm. No, to his saints. To his saints. You're not a saint. And he had care for his elect. And he had care for his elect. But the ungodly. But the what? But the ungodly shall be punished. Shall be punished, man, in the last days, man. The Lord said, come out of my people so you won't be punished. Give me verse 21, King. Verse 20. Verse 19. For horrible. For what? For horrible. It's a good day for the Lord. For horrible. The Lord said, horrible is the end. Of the unrighteous generation. It's this damn so called nation of America gonna be torn down, man. I'm Yako, it's my time. Death to America, death to the so called white man, death to the little baby in the damn. Uh, 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 what? Man, we're gonna be doing things, man. We're gonna be doing things, man. We're gonna rise out of the ashes, man. And that Phoenix, when he come back, when your house shall return, it's gonna be bad business on P Street Street. Man. Huh? Huh? Ball. That'd be destruction to America, man. Oh, push uh, the button. Push some button. 